Good morning children. So today we will start the explanation of this lesson, lesson number 8, night flight. So let's get started. Previously, so you were having this slide. Let's share our ideas. So I have provided the answers here. So what is that first picture? There is airplane. Second is glider and third is helicopter. Here also in the B question in an aircraft what do you, uh, what do we see? Uh, pilot, co-pilot, air hostess and in a train guard, driver, ticket collector. So write down all these things in your textbook. Okay, before going to start, we are having some questions. What would happen if the pilot and the co-pilot of the plane in which you were traveling became unconscious? So it would be a very difficult situation then. Second question. Have you watched any films in which the pilots fall sick or killed? So might be you have seen many movies uh, where the planes are hijacked. So that's become a very terrible, dangerous situation. Even the passenger's life is on stake. So if you have seen just remember that. How did the situation get resolved in these films? So if you're not seeing any film, please uh, try or uh, find out. Then see one. Okay. So for our Indian movies also there are many films. Uh, we are actually in the dangerous situation. Many passengers were saved during uh, unwanted situations. Okay. So I remember one movie that is airlift, big airlift actually it was. Akshay Kumar was the hero in that. Okay. If you have seen or not seen, then remember that. And uh, if you have not seen, just see one of the movie. Okay, now we will start with the explanation. This is Captain Cook speaking. Our estimated time of the arrival in Brisbane is 1 a.m. So we have got a long flight ahead of us. I hope you enjoy it. Our hostesses will be serving dinner shortly. Thank you. So you know actually that when take a flight and before it's take off, so there are announcements. So it all suggests that actually this plane was having the estimated time. What is the meaning of estimated? Okay, so we are having the meanings here on the right side. You can see unconscious. That is a lacking awareness and the capacity for sensory perception as of asleep or dead. Now the second meaning accurate is estimated. A rough idea how long it would take. Then hostess, you know, a woman flight attendant on an airplane. So that is night time. Okay, serving dinner. When, when we eat dinner, that is night. Correct? So it all suggests actually that and it, it is uh, a flight uh, which is going to Brisbane. And where is Brisbane? Actually, it is in Australia. Okay. So they were about to serve dinner, which suggests actually that this flight was going to take off at night. It was Christmas Eve. That was a Christmas occasion and the beginning of another routine flight. The hostesses started preparing the food trays. A few of the passengers were trying to get some sleep, but most of them were reading. So night it was sleeping most, uh, and uh, but most of them actually they were reading. 
There was nothing to see from the windows except the vast blackness of the Australian desert below. See here it is already given. So where is Brisbane? That is in Australia. Okay. So blackness is also suggest that it was night. There was nothing unusual about the flight. Except perhaps that the plane was nearly full. Many of the passengers were travelling home to spend Christmas with their families. The hostesses started serving dinner. So what was the main thing actually that it was? Because it was Christmas Eve. Christmas occasion actually was. And everybody was going home to celebrate Christmas. Okay. And that flight actually it was nearly full. So many families actually it was. And they were going to celebrate Christmas at home. It was a smooth and quiet flight. The hostesses had finished connecting the trays and they were in the galley. What is galley? It is given here. The kitchen in an aircraft that is called galley. Putting things away when the first buzzers sounded. One of the hostesses went along the aisle to check. When she came back, she looked surprised. It's amazing, she said. Even on a smooth flight like this, two people have been sick. What do you mean by aisle? Aisle that is the passage between rows of seats in an aircraft. So what was amazing here? Why that hostess said that amazing? Because it was smooth flight. And you know actually when we are going, so we are having the regular checkup also. And uh, nobody was ill. But it was after the dinner that uh, two of the people have been sick. So that's why it was surprising. So here are some questions. Uh, for comprehending these passages so go through it uh, that will check whether you have understood this passages this page 100, 103 page if you have understood okay so try to solve it if you didn't just read it again okay then uh, or you can pause and read it again and you can find out the answers of these questions now moving toward the next page. 20 minutes later, nearly half the passengers were ill, dramatically ill. Several were moaning and groaning. Some were doubled up in pain. What do you mean by doubled up? That is bent over. Okay. And two were unconscious, fortunately. There was a doctor on board and he was helping the hostesses. He came to the galley and said, I would better speak to the captain. This is a severe case of food poisoning. I think we would better land as soon as possible. So here are some word meanings. On board means what? On a ship or train, plane or other vehicle. So that means it was bo on board in the sense that means they are traveling together. Slumped across, that is, assume a drooping posture or carriage. To revive means to cause to regain consciousness. Okay, so we understood from this passage that it was food poisoning, case of food poisoning, because everything actually it was fine, it was smooth. But after the dinner, actually, the situation arised right what caused it asked one of the hostesses so there was a doctor uh, who knew the reason well replied the doctor i had the chicken for dinner and i am fine the passengers who chose the fish are ill means that food poisoning treaties it was because of fish that fish dish actually was it was 
having the problem. So those who ate fish, they were ill. But those who ate chicken, they were not having any problem. The hostess led him to the flight deck. You know what is flight deck? The control room in an aircraft from which the pilot and the crew fly the planes. She tried to open the door. I think it's jammed, she said. The doctor helped her to push it open. The captain was lying behind the door. He was unconscious. The co-pilot was slumped across the control and the radio operator was trying to revive him. See, that means the pilot and the co-pilot, they were unconscious. The co-pilot was slumped across, that means assume a drooping posture. As you can see in the picture, that is drooping posture. Okay. And the radio operator was trying to revive him. There was three people inside, pilot, co-pilot and the radio operator also in the flight deck. Okay. The doctor quickly examined the two pilots. They had just collapsed. I don't feel too good myself, said the radio operator. Can you land the plane? asked the doctor. So even that radio operator was not also feeling well. He also ate the dinner. Okay. And the doctor asked the radio operator to land the plane. Here are some comprehension questions. What caused the passenger to be ill? What do you think happened to the pilot and the co-pilot? Why did the radio operator say, I don't feel too good myself? <laughs> Me? No. I am not a pilot. We have got to revive them, he replied. Right now the plane's on automatic pilot. We are okay for a couple of hours. But we have got to revive the pilots before we near Brisbane. See, radio operator actually is not able to fly, fly this plane and he wanted the doctor to revive them that, that means to regain consciousness so what is ground control a communication system for sending continuous radio messages to an airplane pilot who is making a ground control approach to landing so that is called ground control so planes are guided through the ground controls. Okay. I don't know if that's possible, said the doctor. They could be out for a long time. I would better contact ground control, said the radio operator. The doctor turned to the hostess. Perhaps you should make an announcement. Try to find out if there is a pilot on board. We can't do that, she said. It will cause a general panic. Yes, it's right. So if an announcement would be there, then after that, the passenger will think actually what happened to the pilots. So that's why the hostess said that uh, it will cause a general panic. Yes, she was right. Well, how on earth are we going to get this thing down? Are the doctor. So who will fly then this plane? So now a couple of hours actually they were not having any problem because it was an automatic pilot mode. See the modern technology. So they are safe now for a couple of hours. Suddenly the hostess remembered something. One of the passengers, I overheard him saying that he had been a pilot in the war. I will go get him. She found the man and asked him to come to the galley. Didn't you say you used to be a pilot? So she remembered that there was a war pilot in the, on the board. So she asked, yes, why? 
The pilot's all right, isn't he? He asked. She led him to the flight deck. They explained the situation to him. You mean you want me to fly the plane? He said. You must be joking. I was a pilot. But I flew single engine flight airplanes. And that was 15 years ago. This thing's got four engines. Isn't there anybody else? He asked. Again, actually, it was something alarming situation. Yes, that man. But it was 15 years ago, actually, he flew. And it was also that plane was having the single engine. But this flight, it was having four engines. That means this man was not having the confidence. The man actually who was flying plane and he was a war pilot. Okay. So it was a difficult situation. And he asked actually if there is other planet, uh, sorry, other pilot on the board. But afraid it's not. That hostess replied. I'm afraid not, said the hostess. The man sat down on the controls. See, because it was something, a dangerous situation, alarming situation. So even that man knew a little. So that's why he thought to control the situation. So he sat down at the controls. His hands were shaking slightly because he was losing confidence. He was not having that much confidence. The radio operator connected him to ground control. They told him to keep flying towards Brisbane on automatic pilot. So ground control told him to fly on automatic pilot mode only and to wait for further instructions from an experienced pilot. And uh, ground control was actually giving the advisors to wait for the experienced pilot. An hour later the flights Sorry, the lights. Here are some comprehension questions. Please go through it and try to understand this page. Okay. Uh, you can take a screenshot as well and uh, read it again and find out, try to find out the answer to understand it better. Next page. Of Brisbane appeared on the horizon. That means after an hour actually that they can see what is horizon means here are the uh, meanings the line at which the sky and earth appear to meet that means they can see it to that ground where they have to land that means Brisbane arrived okay so they have arrived to the Brisbane so earth appear to meet fuel gauge what is the meaning of fuel gauge that means that is a meter an indicator of the amount of the fuel remaining in a vehicle and uh, Descent means what? A movement downward. So he could see the lights of the runway shining brightly beyond the city. Ground control told him to keep circling until the fuel gauge registered almost empty. This gave him a chance to get used uh, to handling the controls. So from the ground control, this man of who was war pilot was advised to fly the plane circle the plane for when it uh, the fuel gauge actually it becomes empty that means that was uh, that would uh, be a less chance of uh, catching fire because that plane full fuel gauge that means that fuel would be empty right so in the cabin, the doctor and the hostesses were busy attending to the sick. Several people were unconscious. The plane circled for over half an hour. So more than half an hour actually it was circling to make this uh, fuel gauge empty. Okay, fuel tank empty. The passengers had begun to realize that something was wrong. Now the passengers were also becoming panicked. Because why actually it was flying. They can see the lights. 
down. What's going on? Why don't we land? shouted a middle-aged man. My wife is ill. We have got to get her to a hospital. A woman began sobbing quietly. So that was a panic situation there. Obviously it is. You know, you all so would be worried about crash and all those things. At last the plane started its descent. That means moving downward. Suddenly there was a bump. So this bump means what? That means it was not a smooth landing. Which shook the plane. We are all going to die. So everybody was in panic. Screamed a man. Cried a man. Even the hostesses looked worried as panic began to spread through the plane. So it's terrible. Here are some questions. Why did the plane circle over Brisbane for over half an hour? And were the passengers on the plane calm? How can you tell? So go through it. It's all right. Someone said, the pilot just lowered the wheels, that's all. That means that plane touched the ground. Maybe actually it was a massive, huge thump. But then also actually they landed at last. As the plane approached the runway, the pilot could see fire engines and ambulances speeding along beside the runway with their lights flashing. Yes, it's a very necessary step. Uh, so if anything went wrong, so they were there, the fire engines and uh, the ambulances to take the people for immediate treatment or if it catches the fire, fire engine, actually it was there and uh, if uh, something, the people injured or all the bad situation actually if it arrives, so that ambulances and the fire engines were uh, flashing their lights or they were beside the runway okay for the worst situation okay to handle that worst situation there was a tremendous thumb as the wheels hit the tarmac what do you mean by tarmac here it is given a landing strip made of broken stone mixed with tar So that is a runway, that means it is made of tarmac. So as it was not a smooth landing can say, right? Because that uh, war pilot actually, he flew the plane 15 years ago. And even actually he flew that uh, single engine airplane. But it was the plane which he was flying now, it was four engines airplane. So it was a tremendous thumb, that means large, huge thumb. You can see, uh, what do you mean by tremendous? That is large or big. A screeches, high-pitched noise, all been stopped. So tremendous thumb, it was a large, big, okay, sound. As the wheels hit the tarmac, bounced twice, it was bounced twice, okay, hit the ground twice. Raise along the runway and finally screech to a halt. Screech is what? It's a loud noise, high pitched noise. So that that's this all were suggest. Okay, that it was not a smooth landing. But somehow actually they were safe. So that was nearly perfect landing. Well done, shouted control tower. Thanks, said the man. Any chance of a job? So the man, that war pilot actually, he was having a sense of humor, understood. It was not a smooth landing, but then also actually he was asking for a chance of a job. Okay, so here are some questions. Uh, try to find out, try to understand this passage. Why were there fire engines and ambulances along the runway? And the second one is describe how the plane landed. Right, so try to find out the answers. So orally only you have to do. Uh, but children actually here, uh, you have to write down the word meanings. 
so which I have provided in the right side and even actually which is in the textbook so all these things you have to write in your notebook today by writing uh, with a good handwriting okay so 